welcome to All Saints Fawley. Thank you to Colin for our welcome. We gather this week in our parish church of All Saints, an ancient parish church formerly known as the Church of St Nicholas because it was the last church the sailors saw as they left the port of Southampton and the first they saw when they returned. We're celebrating and thinking about today the Feast of the Ascension. Ascension Day was last Thursday and the Sunday after it is now called Ascension Sunday. So we'll hear the story of Jesus' ascension into heaven. It's also the period of time between Ascension and Pentecost when the worldwide church celebrates something called Thy Kingdom Come, when bi billions of Christians around the world each day pray consciously the Lord's Prayer. So we invite you to find a time during your day for these next few days to pray the Lord's Prayer along with your brother and sister Christians around the world. But before we begin, we have a moment of quiet as we recall God's presence with us and amongst us, and as we ask for God's blessing on our worship together. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. And we pray together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts through the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we gather, we recall those times when we have failed to follow God's commandments, when we fail to love our neighbours and ourselves, when we fail to do the right thing. And so we turn back to God as we confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, you forgive the sins of all who truly repent, forgive you all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the collect, the special prayer for today, and the readings of those set for the Sunday after the Ascension. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 6 to 14, and it's the account of Jesus' ascension into heaven, and David is going to read it for us. When the apostles had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up towards heaven, 
Suddenly, two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go up into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's walk away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. Today's Gospel is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 1 to 11, and it's part of Jesus' farewell discourse to his disciples. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Praise to you, O Christ. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on those behalf whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. What a time those early disciples had. What a roller coaster of events and emotion they experienced. They were with Jesus approximately about three years, most of them all the time. It had its ups and its downs, but they were excited about his new vision of the kingdom of God. And then there was Palm Sunday. Amazement, excitement, all those crowds claiming, claiming Jesus as king. And very quickly, arrest, crucifixion. The disciples were terrified, devastated. That all their hopes and dreams had been dashed. And then the news came. He's alive. Amazement. Can it be true? And it is true. Joy and delight. Jesus was with them again. There were new normals. He was with them, he came and he went a bit, but he didn't seem to spend many, much time with other people. And then, as we heard in our first reading, suddenly he left them. And two angels tell his disciples that this time he's really gone. 
and they wonder, what does this mean? What's all this about? We read that they went back to Jerusalem. One minute they were in the inner circle with Jesus there, and the next minute they were leaderless, leaderless and unable to find know what to do next. So they go to Jerusalem and they wait. But two things struck me about the very end of that first reading. They went to Jerusalem and they stuck together. They stayed together and they prayed. Our Gospel reminds us that Jesus knew before he died how difficult his disciples would find this. He knew they'd be bereft without him. So he asked God in that prayer we heard in St John's Gospel to be with them and to protect them. And that prayer is for us too, when we feel bereft or confused, perhaps especially in times of isolation and lockdown like we are now, when like the disciples we might say, what is normality? At such times, we follow the example of the disciples. We continue to do what we do quite well, which is to stick together in as many different ways as we can, to show the love of Jesus to each other. And we pray for each other and for the world. Especially at this time between Ascension and Pentecost, we pray that all may know, through us and through others, God's unconditional love. So we wait, and while we wait, we stick together, we pray for each other, and we pray, Thy kingdom come. Amen. Thank you, Anne, for your reflection on those readings and on the theme of Ascension. We're now going to turn to God in prayer, and Marilyn is going to lead us in our prayers. O oh God, our Father, we thank you that this day you have called us to worship you and learn of you. You alone know our needs and the needs of the world. Satisfy them with your unchanging love. In your presence may we find comfort in sorrow, guidance in perplexity, strength to meet temptation, grace to overcome the fascination of disobedience and courage to face up to the hostility of this rebellious world. This prayer we ask to the glory of your name and the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you for the life-giving and healing ministry of Jesus Christ and for the sense of renewal and hope which it gives. Inspire your church to use the gift you have given to continue this ministry with confidence, remembering that you are a God of health and wholeness. We pray for all in need of your healing touch today, for those who mourn and for those living with any form of disability, for those dealing with depression and mental illness, for those finding it difficult to let go of painful mem memories, for those struggling with addiction to alcohol, drugs, gambling and other addictions, for the fearful and despairing, the lonely and isolated, and for those who feel they have nowhere to turn. We give thanks for those working in hospitals, hospices, nursing homes and homes for the elderly. For those caring for the elderly and infirm in their own homes. For counsellors and for the work of self-help groups and charities like the Samaritans. For those engaged in medical missionary work and medical research. O oh God, you have set before us a great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ever ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning 
and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The blessing of the God of life be ours. The blessing of the loving Christ be ours. The blessing of the Holy Spirit be ours. To cherish us, to help us, to make us holy. Amen. And you might like now to take a moment of quiet as you pause to remember anyone or any situation which you would particularly like to pray for today. Or maybe just stop and listen to some music as you reflect on those prayers in which Marilyn has led us. And so we join together in the peace, although we're doing it virtually. God made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us, and as a pledge of what is to come, he has given the Spirit to dwell in our hearts. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace be 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 with you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks, the Lord our God. It's right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is our great high priest, who has entered once for all into the heavenly sanctuary, evermore to pour upon your church the grace and comfort of your Holy Spirit. He is the one who's gone before us, who calls us to be united in prayer, as were his disciples in the upper room, when they awaited the promised gift, the life-giving spirit of Pentecost. Therefore all creation yearns with eager longing, as angels and archangels sing the endless hymn of praise, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. 
and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing, Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. And so we join together in the Lord's Prayer as we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. And at this stage of our recorded service, perhaps you would like to just maybe turn the computer off, listen to a piece of music, or just take time to remember the times when you've been in this beautiful church and taken communion. The body of Christ given for you. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. And Anne is now going to lead us in our mission prayer. Lord, Lord pour out upon us the gifts of your Holy Spirit, that we may live in love and joy and peace, sharing these blessings with those around us as we journey along the way to the glory of your name. Amen. The Spirit of truth lead you into all truth and give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rests on each one of you, this day and always. Amen. So may God bless us all and keep us safe until we can meet again. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope you sincerely hope you enjoyed the service.